Welcome back everyone. Today we are playing uh, Super Mario 64 DS based on the very popular Super Mario 64. One of the first sort of open world free roam games with a eight way directional I guess but sort of free roam controls in general. It was hugely popular whenever it was released originally and now we have it in DS form which is actually a lot better quality. But right now, I'm just going to sort of show you around the world, and I'm going to go, I'm going to show you some of the controls, and then I'm going to show you, I think, one, one level of this world. So uh, right now, as you can see, eight-way move controls, but I'm using this analog stick instead. It's kind of a, it gives you that feeling of you can go anywhere do anything in this open-world environment. Uh, you've got B is your jump button. And if you move and jump three times successively, if I can do it right, you get a triple jump. One of Mario's signature moves in this game. You have A in this game actually does an attack. One of the first games where Mario doesn't just have to jump on things, he can fight with his hands and feet. And of course you can use that in the air too if you, if you so desire. Uh, what else we have? We have a run button, which is Y. Hold it down and we can run. And we can run and jump. And if we hold, well, let me first show you, holding R, back button here, makes Mario crouch. Run, crouch, jump. Mario does a skip. There's a lot of uh, Oh, apparently that changes the camera view. I didn't even try that before. And so does this. Oh, that's a weird view. Let's just stick with the normal here. So we got all these moves. Oh, and then there's this. If you try attacking while doing that triple jump, or just moving forward, you get that sort of dive action. All of these are, of course, useful in different parts of any area of the game. Yeah, we got a lot of mechanics to work with here. A lot of freedom in this game. So what we're going to do now, instead of just running around out here, is actually go, and go through a level. The very first one in the game, if I can get there quickly enough. Let's go through the castle doors. Let me hold on and fix the camera here. If only I had a really good setup. Maybe someday. <laughs> but for right now, we're making do. Okay. So here we go. I pressed the wrong button again. Off to the first level. A bunch of bombs on a wall. Up on battlefield. Bunch of things. Let's do this one. This is a this is a file where I completed most of the game. I don't have all of the stars that you're supposed to get by the end of this game, but I do have a lot of them. Uh, get out of the way. Oh no. That is not what I wanted to do. Ooh. But I can show you this while I'm at it. One of the special features of this game is that Mario is not the only playable character. Now we've got Luigi here. He has this special thing where he can kind of glide in air while doing that little run-walk thing. And yet he still sounds like Mario, of course. Also show you here we got Wario. Oh goodness, I didn't know it did that. Uh huh. I sort of remember this. Yeah, one-ups everywhere. Oh, 
Oh, not good. Get it, get it, get the cap, get the cap. Alright. No. Oh, that was close. Ah, I don't do that. Ah, wait. Yes. This is a cannon. It'll shoot us up to the top and then I can show you kind of what a boss fight is like in this game. So we're going to go, we're going to aim up here. We're going to aim like that. Oh, I overshot it. I overshot it. Oh, no. No. Oh, that was painful. That was not pleasant. Back to the top. No. I guess I'll just show you how to get up there typically. Oh, or I can show you the secret passage. Yeah. There's nothing other than the fact that you're curious that will actually tell you that you're supposed to do that. But here we go. Let's fight this dude. I don't think that actually hurts him. Yeah, that doesn't hurt him, never mind. I'm supposed to just throw him on the ground. No. <laughs> I'm just prolonging the fight. Off the edge, yes. He is far too slow for us, and so we win. And so, yeah, boss fights kind of take on a different perspective, but they're still much different than in the other Mario games. And thus, you have the basic and general idea of how to play and what the point is of uh, Super Mario 64. DS, or just 64 in general. And that'll about do it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.